Hello, thank you for your patience and purchase of my Karen special. I want to talk about what's blocking you financially, messages from spirit, and insight from your love life. Let me connect with your energy. For some reason, I'm seeing like a director person. I feel like you need to be mindful of your anger or any future anger and just be mindful of like where you are directing that behavior to. Um, also, just be aware, this is really random, but what I saw was I saw someone holding a gun and then it turned into a camera. Um, guns can also represent like the male penis so I guess just be mindful of who you you know have sex with during this time but I also feel like you need to redirect your life just be mindful where your life is going you are the writer so it's going to be okay for you yeah oh that's beautiful because as soon as I said that the wheel came out yeah so change your life around for the better if you've been seeing weirdness with it Let's see. I, uh, for some reason, I'm also picking up on sticky situation. Extra card for finances. Extra card for um, spiritual guidance. And set upon love. Talk about finances, blockages with finances. Yeah. I feel like financially it's time for you to take greater steps. Um for some reason I'm picking up like a, like you have a hold on money or you have this mindset of oh I, I need money, like I have to have money. But I just feel like there's an insecurity with losing money and it's causing for you to just feel like, oh, I need money, like I need it. Like, it's just like a, I don't know, like an addiction kind of deal. And I, I'm saying that the way you view money is very cluttered. And also the way that you view money is actually defeating you. Because you have this great fear of losing it. And it's really like an obsession. Like, it's, it's really weird. And I'm thinking of the like when you don't have enough money or like when you feel like you're losing money like there's a sense of like anger mentally or like you just feel really hurt. I feel like it's time for you to release that fear of losing money because I feel like this this will help you in the long run because you receive the two of wands, the four of wands and the ten of swords. With the two of wands with this there's like a fear like a little baby bird he needs it's time for him to leave the nest but it's just like oh, I'm afraid I don't know so don't be afraid like we lose money we gain money like it's life it's okay the four of wands I do feel like there's a sense of like a there's a celebration or like you're meant to um you like I feel like money is meant to come in for you but I'm just seeing that your view upon money is causing is causing for you to feel cluttered or suffocated. It's definitely time for you to have new views upon money. And with the Ten of Swords, there's a defeation. Uh, you feel like it's eating you away. <laughs> so yeah, change that up and you'll be fine. Messages from Spirit. Wow, really interesting. Really, really interesting. I do feel that you need to be mindful of a family issue or you need to be mindful of who you share things with. I do feel like there's going to be some sort of tricky situation with communication and emotions. This may be with friends or family. 
I feel any sneaky behavior that's been going on, like it's time to stop, whether this is for you or for someone else. I feel that this is going to be a really good time for you to be mindful of reality. And for some reason, I'm hearing blood is thicker than water. So there may be some family issues going on. This is really random, but I feel uh, that you're going to hear about a murder with a friend or a mutual friend really, really soon. I feel like they are fairly young. Um, from 15 years old to like 28 years old. So, that's really interesting. I feel like you know this person or you know of this person. Like, I don't feel like this is family. I just feel like, oh, this is a friend of a friend kind of deal. So that's fairly sad. I'm also hearing that uh, it's time for you to wake up and smell the coffee. So I guess get up earlier if you can. Or there's just basically going to be a reality check for you. But inside upon love... Healing family issues. Calling upon your soulmate. So this is really interesting because of the previous read that I had and how you guys are attached. So that's really interesting. So we'll take this time to deal with family issues. And be mindful of who you want your soulmate to be. I feel like you need to really think of, okay, what is your opinion on soulmates? Who do you want to attract? Do you want to be just like them or do you want to catch up to them? Like, what do you want to do? I honestly feel like this is going to be a really good time for you to enhance yourself and to become a better person. Because the more you develop within life, the more things will come to you. In good ways, I will say. So, I feel like within this lifetime, you're going to be uh, pretty, pretty good. I feel like you need to be honest. Yeah, I feel like you need to be honest with yourself or you need to be honest with love. Like, uh, with the people you attract, just be aware of lying. Because I feel like that can happen. So, if you are the one lying, whether you are in a relationship right now or you've lied previously in your relationships, like, don't do that no more, okay? Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything and hopefully I hear from you soon. Take care. Bye.